again, uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, we did hit our 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I'll be doing a, uh, a giveaway on that here. I'll be doing the video up pretty quick. So anyway, I want to thank everybody and uh, just enjoy the video. Hey guys, hope you are all having a great day today. What we are doing is uh, on my Jeep, I had a code come up, P0349 I believe is what it was. Uh, it's a camshaft position sensor and uh, right now when I'm on my way to go pick this up. So stay tuned, uh, we're going to dive into that today. Uh, I got to get this Jeep ready to go uh, and what it does is driving on the highway it doesn't shift into fifth or or overdrive uh, not six but overdrive in that respect um, it doesn't shift it will manually I've got the, uh, the stick shift on it um, I do, it's an automatic but it just has that that uh, manual shift on it and uh, if I so it it'll stay in fourth gear and then so if I shift over or hit it to the right it'll stay in fourth and I hit it once more it will go into fifth but it won't go into overdrive and then if I hit it once more it goes back into auto and it goes back into fourth so I had the code pop up on my way home from work and uh, checked it again this morning and that's the only code and so uh, yeah we're just gonna go pick this up and uh, once we get it uh, we'll show you and then uh, we'll dive in, like I said, we'll dive in and get this all fixed up uh, where it is, kind of a precarious uh, location. And um, yeah, it's kind of at the back corner on the driver's side of the engine. So it's going to take a little bit to get at it, I think. Might struggle a little bit. We'll just get some foam in there that we'll probably have to get rid of. But okay so here we are here we have it this is the part that we did pick up um, I got it here you can see there big four motors um, that's your part number and things of that sort but uh, what it is it's just this is what it looks like uh, this is the sensor itself so not just screws down into where it goes you just drop it in place screw it tight put your connector in and it sits on the back corner kind of at that position so it's gonna be hard maybe to get this I'm not quite sure but that's what it looks like and the price on it uh, I think it retails for about $69 yeah $69.80 is what it retails they gave it to me for $63 you know 6345 so 6662 GST included but that's Canadian as well okay welcome everyone again here we are we're in the garage and uh, I'll show you where this sensor is so anyway yeah we took a look at the sensor um, but it where it is located yeah we'll just get ourselves situated here okay so if you can see and we'll get this light in here so if you can see where my finger is pointed right back in there you see that electrical connector that is where the sensor is so what I'm gonna probably do is maybe cut a piece of this off just this end of it just to give me a little bit more room and then there's a screw back in here we can see it right in there so there's the screw for it that's where we gotta get and we'll get this thing out so it's actually not gonna be too bad okay so with with this this is the new one here and you can see it does have the bolt in it already in that respect it's right on the top so we know that the connector it's sitting in there like this on the edge of the motor uh, we got our right size and this is a T uh, it's a T30 is what's required to uh, get on that sensor and get it out so uh, we're just going to, uh, actually I'm going to probably cut some of that foam away and then, uh, or I might be able to just push it out of the way. We'll figure it out and then we'll show you what we're doing once we get in there. Oh, I hope you can see, I hope I don't get my hands in the way and things of that sort, but we can see that piece of foam 
I'm gonna see if we can get this driver down here. And I think I got it. Yeah, I did get it. Okay. There we go, she's coming off. So it might have been maybe five foot pounds is what it was torqued down to. So let's see if I can get this thing. There we go. That the connector could be bad. Um, the wiring looks okay at this at this point. But we're going to try and get that out. Our trusty puller here. I think I broke it there. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so maybe we can get this. I'm going to cut some of this foam off the bottom here. And this is the foam that's underneath this side of the intake. So I'm going to cut a little piece off the edge of that. Okay. You can see we've got a nice open spot there now. So we're just going to get this in here and see if we can get... Excuse the hand right now until I get this bolt. Or this, yeah, this bolt, I guess, is what it is. Screw, whatever you want to call it, and get it out of the way. Yeah, maybe we'll get a pair of pliers. So it looks like it's just jammed in there. Like this is it right here. And it feels like it's in a rubber seal. So that's probably what's keeping it in place. So I'm just going to grab a pair of pliers. There we go. So that is her. like that so it's because uh, that screw we'll have to figure out exactly where it's going but yeah oh, I can see the hole okay okay let's get this thing in here excuse the hands here and we just gotta Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see that, but P0349 generic camshaft position sensor, circuit A, or sensor A circuit intermittent bank two. So what we are gonna do is just erase that and then see if we can get rid of it. it says erase was successful. Still comes up. So what I'm going to do, we're going to be taking this for a little drive just to see um, if there's anything else. Because uh, it might just uh, might not just need to be run, things of that sort, to uh, get it figured out. But anyway, um, so that's what we have right now. Okay, anyway, we still have it. I'm. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking it for a little drive just to see if that clears it out in that respect because uh, it may it may have to do that because it may still think I still have the old one in there in that respect. So anyway, we're going to try it and see what happens. There we go. Throw in another code. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to pull out my uh, scan tool here and see what we have. Hello, guys. Well, I'm going to be... Putting this together with another part of the video, this is going to be about my Jeep in that respect. Uh, and it's all about that code that I did get, the P0349 and P0394. So 349 and 394. And you, you'll see that I did replace um, the sensor, um, camshaft position sensor, bay number two or um, uh, anyway on this side on driver's side and uh, I did check the wiring to make sure it's getting the proper voltage and things of that sort well what it actually turned out to be was an issue with the Jeep and what I'll do is I'll show you here what I have okay so what ended up having or happening is that it um, actually didn't have to do with the sensors themselves um, what they had to do, they diagnosed it, um, and it showed the uh, code here, the P0394, and there was the 349 as well, but there was a, a TSB, um, a service bulletin on 
see if I can find it here. Replace the vise through the bed, right here. So they had to take everything apart. So disconnected the battery, removed the air box, manifold, coil packs, removed blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. So there is a star case about oil, ga oil gallery bolts to, uh, to be under torqued. Removed lower oil pan to inspect if mo uh, bolts were down there. Did not find any bolts, bolts, but did find some metal shaving debris. So the issue that essentially happened, um, that was the issue that we had with it. It wasn't actually the sensor and things of that sort. Um, it actually ended up being um, the valve cover bolts were not torqued down. One was actually found in a gallery on the engine itself. Uh, nothing had fallen down into the oil pan, thank goodness, and things of that sort. But uh, anyway, they found all the bolts, they put them all back, torqued everything down. Um, I told them to use some Loctite so that that wouldn't happen again, but of course they didn't. But anyway, uh, just the cost in that respect. Um, that was the cost there to actually get it fixed. So as you can see there, uh, that's what it was. And it was all labor. Uh, there was no parts involved. Nothing um, had to be replaced. They did want to replace my uh, my uh, <laughs> my gas tank skid because it's dented all the pieces. But this thing does go off road. Um, I know where it got it dented down in Moab, so I'm whatever. I'm <laughs> not too concerned. If it's that bad, I'll just take it off and pound it back out. But Again, uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, we did hit our 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I'll be doing a, uh, a giveaway on that here. I'll be doing the video up pretty quick. So anyway, I want to thank everybody. And